You know, one reason why illegal immigrants always trek to United Kingdom, they don't stop somewhere in the middle. They'll usually end up in Great Britain. The reason is the benefits that illegals get. As soon as you land on the shores of England, you are given free housing, you are given food, you are given number of, uh, based on the number of children you have, you are given a certain sustenance allowance, and you also have food and other securities. Some places you can even vote. It doesn't matter whether you're a citizen of United Kingdom or not. That is how the law is. So most people who will start from somewhere in the Middle East or even other places, uh, North Africa, for example, they will gravitate towards United Kingdom. Some were going to Germany, but again, Germany is becoming a little hard. They, the ones who are ended, uh, you know, the ones who are left in France or Belgium or Sweden, all these people were there because there were for there was for a limited time a window that opened to allow them to come in. But the best benefits, the best, uh, you know, uh, all the bells and whistles you get are in United Kingdom. Therefore, United Kingdom has been carrying this burden of illegals and supporting them. For a long time. In 2017, the conservative government, the then conservative government, decided to do something about it. First of all, they wanted to stop spending so much money. Second of all, they saw that people were breeding profusely and that was a problem because that would add more stress on the system. So they said any family will get benefits only for the first two children. After that, the benefits will stop. This law was tried to be overturned by the uh, by some of the labor people labor mps and guess what it fell spectacularly on its face so what happened it's a very important talk the reason is there is a clue here for the modi administration if it wants to limit the population explosion i'm not talking about any one community i'm just talking about population explosion here we go one way to ensure population control in India is to follow the UK law. What happened, I told you, right, 2017, the law was passed. Now, what happened was the newly elected prime minister, Keir Starmer, suspended seven members of parliament. Now, I'll show you their pictures who rebelled over the two-child benefit cap. That was the law. This was passed in 2017. I told you that for the third child onwards, you did not get any benefits. Starmer suspended Zara Sultana, Richard Bergen, former Shadow Chancellor John McDonnell, Imran Hussain, Apsana Begum, ex business secretary Rebecca Long Bailey, and Ian Byron for six months. For six months, they cannot sit along with the Labour Party, but they will be sitting like they are independents. And therefore, you know, they, they will not be able to vote. The thing here is there was a party whip to vote along the party lines and these seven defied it and voted against it. That's why this action. There were 40 Labour MPs who just abstained. You see the pressure that's building up now on the Labour Party that even something that is good for the country, these people don't want them to um, pass it through. Who's going to pick up the bill? I told you this is a huge problem for them. Even though it was a small one, Labour whips are trying to send a message to MPs that dissent will not be tolerated in votes. Starmer had faced pressure from across the house over this policy with Tory MP and former Home Secretary Suela Braverman and Reform UK leader Nigel Farage calling for it to be dropped. Here is the best part. Do you know who drafted this in 2017? It will be surprising to you. This is what happens when you change parties. The Liberal Democrats, the Green Party, played Simru, the SDLP, the Alliance Party and the Independent MPs all backed the amendment. In other words, everybody wanted that to be removed. But no, no go. The MPs rejected the SNP amendment. So there were a series of amendments suggested. SNP had an amendment that was rejected 363 votes to 103. And the first, this is the first major test of the new Labour government's authority. Somebody had told me that Keir Starmer is as close to deep state as Boris Johnson would ever dream to be. So this is interesting, guys. It doesn't matter which party comes to power. They immediately move to the center. However, a recent survey by YouGov suggested 60% of um, uh, people in England think that the two-child limit should remain. What happens? The Institute of Fiscal Studies think tank has estimated that removing the two-child benefit cap would eventually cost the government 3.4 billion pounds a year 
roughly 3% of the total budget for working age benefits. The figures show an estimated 1.6 million children that were living in families affected by this policy. So it's a big number and uh, the KS Starmer government has shown spine in passing this. How should India do it? Assuming that they try to bring about population control along these lines. First thing India needs to do, this is no, this is no uh, exception, uniform civil code in some form or the other. Which is the most important thing there? One man, one woman. That means ban polygamy if you want. If you think that UCC is difficult, people will you know, immediately turn on and oppose it. Just say polygamy is banned. Period. Don't say anything else. Polygamy is banned. That's it. Because there are also some tribes in India who practice polyandry. But don't do that. Just do polygamy is banned. Once you do that, that means nobody can marry more than once, at least going forward. Then you start finding out how you can apply the principles of this to India. And I'm sure there are very clever minds in Indian bureaucracy who can effectively apply this to make sure that, first of all, the homogeneity of the population composition remains intact. And second of all, that India is able to better manage its resources. Otherwise, the population explosion will completely bury the country, no matter how much some of its people work. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications. Namaskar.